Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So here in Iceland at the moment it's already winter, it's frosty, we've had snow, it's dark enough and magical enough to see the dancing aurora. So if you are also planning a trip to Iceland to spot the northern lights then this video is for you. Aurora Base Camp has just opened up 20 minutes outside of Reykjavik so it's on the way from Keflavik airport to the city so make it your first stop if you're coming here to see the Northern Lights. It's a great opportunity to learn how to see them in the first place, get some tips and tricks from local experts and also find out loads more information about what the Northern Lights are and get to see them in case you aren't lucky whilst you're here. We were kindly invited along for a little preview before they actually officially opened. We got to see two of the three bubbles because the third one is used for functions. The first one is basically like a bar kind of entertainment space where you can go in, grab a hot chocolate, stay nice and cozy. There's benches with Icelandic sheepskin rugs on them and a quarter of the dome is clear so you can sit there, your eyes will adjust to the darkness and if the northern lights are shining then you can see them from inside this bubble. I don't know if you can really see anything out here but I'll try to take you through some of the exhibition. We've got a hot chocolate and the leaflet to explain what the exhibition is all about but basically it's a big dome out in the middle of nowhere so you've got no light pollution and you can hopefully see the northern lights but they also have a replica of them so that you can see what they look like if you're not lucky enough. The second bubble is kind of the exhibition space. So you're taken by a local tour guide from the Aurora Base Camp through the exhibition and they will explain what the northern lights are, a little bit of the science behind them. They have replicas of the lights in tubes so you can see the different kind of light and colour um, from the chemicals. I'm not going to try and explain too much about it. I'll let them do that. It's when charged particles cross into uh, yeah, oxygen and nitrogen. The oxygen is the green colour. Typically you see the green colour when the, the collision is with the oxygen. In this space it's also really really dark so it means that your eyes will adjust so that when you go outside into the park area you'll be able to see the lights if they are there. So whilst we were there, unfortunately it was too cloudy so we didn't get to see them. Basically you need a dark night, <laughs> you can't see them in daylight so the summer is completely out. You need a cloudless sky so if you can see the stars then there's a chance you'll get to see the northern lights and they need to be dancing in the first place so there needs to be a solar storm for them to be created. So those three things and a bit of luck and hopefully you'll get to see the northern lights dancing whilst you're in Iceland. It is a really cool experience, even just for a bit of extra information. It's on your way into the city, so make it your first stop before you go off and explore Iceland on your own. Good luck in your Northern Lights hunt and feel free to comment down below if you have spotted the Northern Lights whilst you've been in Iceland. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so that you also get to see the other videos and vlogs that we're making hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on anything and I'll see you in another video soon.